metal reactivity series. Firstly, let me teach you the easy trick to remember the metal reactivity series in less than a minute. Consider two best friends, Zara and Ali. Let Zara request to his friend Ali, please start calling me a cute Zara. I love his cuteness, so great. Let me repeat it. Please start calling me a cute Zara. I love his cuteness, so great. Here, P stands for potassium, S stands for sodium, C S stands for calcium, M stands for magnesium, A stands for aluminium, C stands for carbon, Z stands for zinc, I stands for iron, H stands for hydrogen, C U stands for copper, S stands for silver, and G stands for gold. So this is the metal reactivity series which we learn in chemistry in order to crack many chemical reactions. Remember that at this side or at the top, more reactive metals like potassium, sodium, calcium and magnesium are present. While at this side or at the bottom, less reactive metals are present like gold, silver, copper, hydrogen. So note it down this easy mnemonic in order to remember the metal reactivity series. Finally, let me teach you the uses of metal reactivity series in chemistry. For example, iron plus copper sulfate react together to form iron sulfate plus copper. Here, we can see that iron is above in the reactivity series than copper. So, iron is more reactive than copper. That's why iron is displacing the copper from the copper sulfate. So, this is the displacement reaction where we use the metal reactivity series. Secondly, potassium plus sodium nitrate react together to form potassium nitrate plus sodium. We can see that in the metal reactivity series, potassium is above than sodium. So, we say that potassium is more reactive than sodium. That's why potassium is displacing the sodium from sodium nitrate. Thirdly, iron plus lead sulfate react together to form iron sulfate plus lead. In the reactivity series, iron is above than lead, so iron is more reactive and lead is less reactive. That's why iron is displacing the lead from the lead sulfate. Thus, by this way, we can easily solve any displacement reaction using metal reactivity series.